My path into research was definitely not a usual one. Kind of meandered to finding the right place for me. But the journey all makes sense looking back now. The Office Research Program is trying to enroll one million or more participants from across the United States to build a more equitable healthcare system. It's a precision medicine initiative to be able to tailor medicine as opposed to a one-size-fits-all approach. To be able to make that change, you're going to need a large number of people providing data and specifically people who have not been asked to participate in biomedical research or have been intentionally left out of it. I was born in Philadelphia. My parents were divorced and we moved a lot. I mean, just constantly in transition. My father was very opinionated in terms of his ideas of what his son was going to do to be productive in this society as an African-American man. My dad would say, your challenges that you will face as a homosexual man and as a black homosexual man in America, what are you going to do to do good things in the world and to be a good citizen? My degree is in political science. After I graduated college, Washington, D.C. seemed like the natural place to go. Well, maybe I could be an intern, but I can't afford to do that. My dad and I are very close, but in the past, issues around my sexuality were certainly a challenge. So the idea of going back home to live with my dad was not what I wanted. I moved to outside of DC. I got this job in real estate. And that initial path of doing something that would be meaningful and important shifted because of just my own economic needs. I end up getting hired by this company, promoted very quickly, and then transferred to New York City. The next stop is 50th Street. Working in Harlem, there were all these things I felt kind of bombarding my own sense of morality and doing the right thing. I thought, what can I actually do to maybe affect change for some of these populations that I interact with every day? I heard about this precision medicine study and certainly immediately looked at that and thought, that's not me, <laughs> that's not me. But I thought there are things that they're listing here. It's like absolutely science, but there's this whole other skill set needed to bring in people who have been left out of biomedical research. I have a staff of four research coordinators. They're spending their time having conversations with patients in the hospital to eventually do physical measurements and biospecimen collections. I am also spending a lot of time trying to build different partnerships with local health centers, churches, and the LGBTQ community. The people where there's science that needs to be addressed, they're out in the real world experiencing real world problems. We need their involvement to affect change. For me personally, research does affect policy and affects our lives. If you don't come from a typical background, you might be surprised that you probably have a skill set that could be used to affect change. I hope that when we're done with this project, we will have findings that ensure these populations have better access, better health care, better lives.